Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen and on this channel we film finance and lifestyle videos so you can live a fruitful and abundant life. In today's video we'll be talking about how to invest your first $1,000 into stocks for beginners. So it's my understanding that you guys want to invest in stocks and you have a little bit of extra money on the side, you know, a little bit of fluff on the side for you to invest. So the first thing you need to do when investing in stocks is to find a brokerage. There are plenty of brokerages that you can Google and find and use that are very good. It depends on if you want to do stocks, invest in mutual funds, which is like a whole bunch of stocks, so rounded stocks together that you can invest in. But if you want to invest into individual stocks and use a beginner friendly broker, I recommend Robinhood. This is not sponsored, but um, I like Robinhood. Some may not, but if you're a long-term investor who is just looking to invest into stocks or even options trading, you can still use Robinhood. So the next thing is to set up your account with Robinhood. It is super fast, very easy, you know, do your little username, password, link your bank account that you want to use to, you know, fund your Robinhood brokerage account because you must fund your account or you don't have any money to invest. So when you are beginning to invest, you should gravitate towards things that you love to use. I know, you're like, oh, I wanna invest, but I don't know where to start. Start with things that you love to use. You have an Apple iPhone, you have a MacBook, you use Microsoft. Those are things that you should probably start investing in, things that you use. You can invest into Apple, individual stocks, you can invest into Microsoft. For example, I have a Sony camera. I could try to invest into Sony. If you are a bougie girl and you love Louis Vuitton, Michael Kors, Gucci, there are individual stocks, not per se for Gucci or Kate Spade, but there are companies that manufacture these bags that you can invest in. You know, you have to find different ways to get what you want. If there's no Kate Spade in the individual stock, find companies that basically create Kate Spade bags. Okay? Period. So yes, like I said, gravitate towards things that you love to use. Another example is Starbucks. If you love to drink Starbucks, you there's a Starbucks individual stock that you can invest in. And you don't have to put a lot of money in each stock. Start with the basics. So once you have chosen which brand you want to invest in, the next thing you want to do is research that company. Yes, you want to see if those companies' views align with your own personal views. Why would you invest in something that you don't believe in, right? So research your company, um, you can Google them, you can go through their past stock data to see how well those stocks have been doing over the past couple of years. And if you like what you see, you like what you hear, boom, invest into it. Like I said, once you start um, researching, you want to check to see if their views align with your views. And also check to see how they've progressed over the years. What are their statistics? How have their company grown over the past five to 10 years? I would say check up to 10 years. So if you've seen a progress over a long period of time in their company, and that's their pattern, it's probably a good company to invest in. So for example, let's say I want to invest into Microsoft. I'm gonna go and check the progress of Microsoft from the time they've been Microsoft to 2022 what are their progress how much progress have they had what is their growth looking like and if i see a gradual increase throughout those 10 years then that would be something i would like to invest in okay and we all know microsoft is a good company and they have massive growth okay look for companies that have had growth in the past that is a sign that will continue to have growth in the future and that might be something you want to invest in. You want to check to see if this company is innovative. 
How has it been growing in the new coming century, in the 21st century? How have they been progressing in this 21st century? Are they innovative? Are they with the time? Are they changing up things, you know, to adapt to our modernized world? For example, let's say Facebook. We know how Facebook used to look, right? And we know that um, the owner of Facebook own Instagram and all these other, you know, apps and stuff. So because of their progression since they've been Facebook until now, you know, they're a good company to invest in. They will always figure out innovative ways to grow and be better as a company. Now, Facebook is metaverse or, or meta or Instagram is meta and, you know, um, the owner of Facebook wants to create metaverse, glasses that you can put on and be in this world, in, 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 a, in a different world. So that is innovative. That is a genius, actually, that is smart as a business person as a person who's going to invest in their company, I want to see a company that is innovative, you know, that is always switching up things to basically appeal to their new audience. The next thing, you want to decide how you want to be paid from this company. Do you want to be paid in dividends, right? That is one form of payment where the company, each quarter, the company will dish you out money. Yes, that is a thing dividends but be cautious because there are some companies who pay out really good dividends but their company their company will not thrive or be here in the next five to ten years okay and there are some companies who want to grab you and say invest in our company because we will give you this amount in dividends but their, com their company is gonna fail so if there's a company that is always that is paying out too much in dividends and they don't have any longevity you should not invest into them you know there are companies who are like that for example let's say you would like to invest in a newspaper company like you read newspapers every morning you know that's your thing right but because paper really isn't in style now we have phones we have phones you can read the news on your phone we have tons of apps that can give you news we have a whole bunch of websites that you can go on and look at your news so if that company only keeps paper right they're not innovative there's no way that's that they're gonna survive in the 21st century but they pay really good dividends right that is not a good company to invest in that's a big no no choose companies that sell product for profit what do I mean by that for example McDonald's what product do they sell well I mean they, they sell the experience of McDonald's but they also sell food burgers you know fries drinks they have a product that they're selling and in return they have profit because of those products that is a good company you want to invest in because they will continuously grow and make more money product for profit simple as that so the last point that i would like to make is to never put all of your eggs into one basket never ever ever that's how you lose money never put all of your money into one company and expecting an amazing amount in return imagine if something goes wrong if there's any bad publicity you know if anything goes wrong in the company whatever happens that stock you know that stock may drop and if it drops too low and you lose all your money I warned you do not put all of your money into one company my advice is to take that $1,000 that you have and spread it throughout companies that you believe in that you use and that you see growth in so for example in this video I mentioned Sony Microsoft and Apple I would probably take these three companies and divide my money between them. If these are companies that I really believe in and that I really want to invest in, I will divide my money into these three or four companies, it doesn't matter how many companies you want to invest in, and spread out my eggs to have better chance of growth and a huge return on your investment. This is a bonus point that I would like to make. Buy low and sell high. When you are investing into stocks, crypto, whatever it is, you want to buy when it's low and sell when it's high. That is how the cycle goes. If 
for example, if you are in a stock and it drops, that stock plummets, please do not sell. A lot of people, they make the mistake of seeing the stock drop and they get scared and they pull out. They're like, no, I've already lost money and I'm done. No, if you want to invest in stocks and be an investor and you know, um, make money from home from, by investing or even have an amazing retirement from your investments in stocks and other investments buy low sell high and if you want a greater return on your investment maybe you should be a long-term investor but it's all up to you and it's your choice this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching my video on how to invest your first one thousand dollars into stocks for beginners i hope you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one okay bye